Okay, magic move number two. And this is something you need to, to really practice a lot. And that is, that is you recognizing what is your ideal contact point. I, I, know, I know exactly where my ideal contact point is. I can tell you the exact length away from me. I can tell you exactly how far out in front it is and kind of the height off the, off, off the, off the court. You need to tinker with this and find for yourself really what's the perfect spot. What I will encourage you to do is to think about finding it with your elbow, your racket elbow to your side. What I don't want you to get into is reaching out wide or reaching too far in front. And I'm sure you've been told a thousand million times you've got to play your forehand out in front. And it's true, you do play the forehand slightly in front. What I don't want you to think of is that, well, if, if a little bit in front's good, then a whole lot more is better. And that's not the case. The way you find your ideal contact point is, is that you keep your back straight, you keep, as we've talked about before, your, your chest above your hips, and you feel in that, in that position, in that posture, with your elbow to your side, where's that spot? Okay, and once you've found that spot, the forehand is, is, is very easy after that. All you have to do, it's going to sound a lot easier than it really is, but all you have to do from your set position is move yourself according to the, to the path of your opponent's shot to your forehand so that you always get a chance to receive the ball right there. And one thing you're going to find out is you're going to actually determine where that spot is. But now you're going to start to feel comfortable that you've got more time. You don't have to rush the shot. In fact, what I feel like when I'm playing my best, I feel like I turn in the set, I move over to the ball, either forward, either I back away. But I feel like I now get to wait because I know exactly where I want to receive the ball. I know exactly what that spacing is. If you were to draw a, a line, the ball, you know, your opponent's shot is coming at you. You can draw an imaginary line that the path of the ball takes and you know you could actually put balls in the court. You could you know do a couple of drills like this where you've got one there, you've got one here, and you could feel all right what's the exact spot? What's the distance I want to be away from this one? What's the distance I want to be away from this one? And, you know, go through some rehearsing. Go through some shadow swings where you don't have someone feed the ball to you, where you really start to tinker with, well, I could play this ball right here if it was up in my strike zone, my elbow's in here. I now know exactly what that spacing is. And you're going to hear a lot from me about spacing that's really crucial. It's really vital to being able to create a repeatable forehand ground stroke that you know for your own body, for your, for your own forehand, exactly what that distance away from you should be when you go ahead and deliver the